Okay, so this is the Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer. It has been like, um, this came out in on the 9th of December. I've done watched it a lot, um, because I wanted to grasp every bit of it and take it in, like, soak it all in. And I'm just gonna, you know, I'm gonna watch it again, and I'm gonna tell you guys how I feel about it. I was really afraid that the, um, that they would have messed this one up like they did the 2016 Ghostbusters, which was a feminist movie, you know, it's, everybody knows that. They just pretty much patronized men and made the women seem like a, uh, big, uh, idol, I guess you could say. Um, which is, okay, I guess. It just wasn't really funny. They tried too hard. It was a good movie, kind of, kind of. I liked some of it, not all of it, though. I mean, they just tried too hard, and it just it, it didn't feel like a Ghostbuster movie. It felt like a ripoff, like a one of them, like an off-brand version of Ghostbusters. Like some like they stuck stuck the Ghostbuster logo on there, and then did some things, some something like Ghostbusters, and then just didn't really fulfill the expectation that we wanted. And now they're mad this came out, but I think it's okay. Um, I, I think. Um, they should they should just like leave it alone so let's go ahead and let's watch this what are you doing here in Somerville anyway honestly my mom won't say it but we're completely broke and the only thing that's left in our name is this creepy old farmhouse our grandfather left us in the middle of nowhere why'd you bring me up here entertainment value <laughs> So we can see a potential love interest what is that? for uh, Trevor here. Somehow, a town that isn't anywhere near a tectonic plate, that has no fault lines, no fracking, no loud music even, is shaking on a daily basis. Under the dining table now! Hey, remember that one summer we died under a table? I found this in my living room. Whoa, killer replica. A replica of what? A ghost trap? Ghost trap. Heck yeah. There hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years. New York in the 80s? It's like The Walking Dead. Your dad never mentioned this to you? It's just my mom. PK me there. My grandfather died. My mom Spores, says we're just and fungus. Love's life. Proton pack. Wait a minute. Who are you? Spangler. Call it fate. Call it luck. Call it karma. That everything happens for a reason. Terror dog. Come on, darling. Yeah. <gasps> it has a gunner seat. So, um, let's talk about that. In, in the trailer, you see some things from Ghostbusters, which was absolutely phenomenal. Um, they pay tribute to the original, which is what we wanted in 2016, but they didn't give that to us. They gave us a reboot. In this one, they show that this happened 30 years ago, that 30 years ago, the original Ghostbusters were in Manhattan and they bust these ghosts. Um, according to Vanity, Vanity Fair, nobody believes in that. They think it's just a myth that a 100-foot marshmallow man never really walked through New York and destroyed it. But I'm sure those would be on record if something like that did happen. But what I think is that whenever, um, whenever like, uh, all this did go down, um, people that were in that moment, like Paul Rudd's character, when he was a kid back in 84, he used to get to see all those, these events play out, and he knows they're real. So it was like the ghost head of the group. 
and um, basically he's going to be this little mentor for these younger uh, generation. Now, we have confirmation that the original cast will be coming back, so we will get to see that in this movie, but they just didn't put it in the trailer, which I'm glad they didn't because they didn't give too much away, but they didn't give, like, not enough to give us get us interested. I love the Ecto-1. The Ecto-1 looks great. It looks absolutely beautiful. God, even, even with its rust and the dust and all that on it, it's just work of art, work of art, mwah. I applaud you, um, Jason, for your beautiful cinematography and uh, filmography. You've done a great job just on this trailer. That gets my Ghostbuster blood just... I'm really excited for this because um, it looks good. It looks really, really good. I think, you know, um, by the, the way that you get to see how these kids are related to the other Ghostbusters, which is um, Phoebe and Trevor... Which people speculate that that is um, Egon's granddaughter. Um, but, I mean, that makes sense. Because, you know, he's not going to be able to come back because he, he passed away in 2014. God rest his soul. Um, he uh, So he can't come back. But the rest of them can. But some people speculate that this farmhouse was Ray's. And, because uh, if you remember in the beginning of Ghostbusters 1, uh, he puts a mortgage, uh, does something with a mortgage with his old house that his parents left him. And he was born there. Um, so they can get this, uh, this started. And also, if you heard in there, you know, Peter, uh, Peter Bankman going, you know, call it fate, call it luck, call it karma. I believe everything happens for a reason. And I like that, because they put it in there, and it just, it fits in there perfectly. It also pays, uh, plays tribute to, you know, um, what the events that did happen in Manhattan. And then you see that, like, as a live television footage, which was, was great. And you got to see all, this, all the other equipment, like the ghost trap and the proton pack, which they don't seem to be too weathered, but they look like they, you know, they've been through some ghost busting, even after the events of Ghostbusters 1 and 2. I'm just excited to see these this new group strap on a proton pack and, like, go and bust some ghosts, which you could see kind of towards the end with the gunner seat. I'm guessing they didn't put that on there because, um... It looks like it was well made, like a professionally made um, gunner seat. Like the way it spins out. I thought that was cool. I just thought it was so cool. I can definitely see that in the um, um, playing a big role in the toys. And we've done got a list of the toys that um, will be coming out. I think I got a picture of it real quick. Yeah, from what I've seen, we got the Hasbro collectibles, Ghostbuster mini puffed surprises. I'm guessing that might be like a like a a toy, uh, like, like, um, not like blonde bags, maybe blonde bags, it kind of makes sense, and then the Hasbro Ghostbuster Mini Plush, which is like the plushies, and then the Ghostbusters Basic Proton Blaster, I'm guessing that I made the, the Neutrino wand, um, and then the Ghostbusters, the Hasbro Collectibles Ghostbusters Plasma Series figures, which is seventeen ninety seven, which I'm sure there'll be three of those, and then they've got the Ghostbusters Fright Feature figures, which is ten fifty nine. Which you might see the return of the um, Fright uh, features from the RGB Ghostbusters. Um, and then we've got the Ghostbuster Gutbuster. I don't, don't know what that would be, but it might be some ghost. Um, possibly the one that we see in the movie. Um, he looks, or the trailer. He looks kind of like really, he looks like a big ghost. If you saw him over in the warehouse, you can feel free to go back. He was like up in like this corner, like over here. Maybe, or maybe not be over here for you guys. I don't know. This camera flip thing, I don't understand them. This. Then they've got the Ghostbusters Proton Pack, which will be $21, $21.10, which we all know that I'm going to get that. There ain't no way I can't. Then they got this thing called the Ghostbusters PKE Taser. Don't know what that is, but... So obviously, these kids are going to like make some upgrades to their original Ghostbuster stuff because Phoebe seems to be the kind of nerdy type. Like she seems like an Egon, especially with the glasses. And if you looked in the scene, she got that you know that up that up look with Egon. You know how he kind of looks above his glasses. That spot on, spot on. They picked the perfect, perfect uh, actor for that. And then they've got the Ecto One playset. We already know we got to get that. The gunner seat, come on. There ain't no way you can't pick up, pick that up to add to your collection. Any Ghostbuster fan is going to want that. And then they've got the Ghostbuster Ghost Howler, which I'm not for sure what that would be. But um, maybe another ghost. Um, what I'm hoping for is if you saw up in the corner uh, or up in one of the scenes that said Chandor Mining Company, I hope 
I uh, really hope they bring Evo Shando onto this. Because it kind of looks like there's a portal to the, the ghost world in that trailer whenever um, Kenna Grace's character Phoebe um, kind of turns around and looks at the camera, or a little away from the camera. But like you see this big portal of something in the background. I'm hoping that's the ghost world. And like they're like, oh god, this just opened up. You know, we gotta go get the proton packs and we gotta go eat in there. Um, I would love to see Ingo Shandor in a movie. The video game just put a really cool look on him. And I don't know if they pay any tribute to the video game, but it seems like they wouldn't because I mean the Ghostbuster video game was considered semi canon. Um, I, I'm rec I, guess, I guess I'm not for sure. But like in the uh, in the video game, like all the ghosts kind of like they don't really escape. I mean they kind of do escape, but not really. It was just like a, a man the Mandela where Evo Shandor set up these points before he passed, or I guess if he did pass, I mean he might have like I mean no he he did pass he did. Um, and, like, he set him up for the Ghostbusters to go catch him. Well, that gave him time to um, create this new Destructor form. And um, it was just great story with the Ghostbusters video game. I would love to see that in film form. Because if you put that into the film, whew, what a masterpiece that's going to be. Because Evo Shandor is, like, the architect. He is, like, the god of the ghost world, kind of. He builds stuff, and, like, he can, like, destroy stuff with the snap of his finger. I think that'd be so cool to interpret into the, um, the new one. And I have to have these kids cross the streams again, because, um, they don't know about that. They don't know about crossing the streams. So, like, how are they going to figure it out? Um, and we don't want it to happen by accident, because if they cross the streams, and, like, they just annihilate themselves, I mean, no more Ghostbusters 4, if there would be. Um, I have high hopes for this. I have really high hopes that this will do well because they are doing it right. It's the director's son, and Ivan Rotman, the producer of the original two, is there to help his son write this correctly, which is great. I'm, I, I love that, that his son has the respect for his dad um, for making such a great film. Um, and the Ghostbusters, um, not Ghostbusters, but the movies that made us, a Netflix series, um, they had a Ghostbuster one, and the way, the, 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 it was like, if you really listen to it, it was such a cut, uh, like a cut, like a close cut film, like, um, you, like the special effects were not completely finished, they got them in there just, just before it was release day, and so, in order for them effects not to be like completely finished, I'm really, really happy with the way that it had turned out, because that was, that was just, that takes some skill to be able to, you have to have the right amount of everything to be able to get all that to come into play perfectly. And they did it great. They did it absolutely wonderful. They, they couldn't have done it any better. And um, it's just a perfect mix of comedy and um, fright and sci-fi, science fiction, you know. Great. And I hope that they do this with this one too. Which I have high hopes that they do, like I said. But like I was saying with the Shandor... I believe it's. I believe it'd be so cool to just to see him come back, and then, you know, have the kids have to cross the streams, and I think that'd be cool, and just be be cool to see some of this old stuff coming back, and see some new ghosts. I'm I'm. I hope they put like a different spin on like some new ghosts. We get some new uh, a new villain, because it seems like they're setting it up for Shandor to come back in, or not Shandor, but Gozer or Zul, whatever you want to call him, because uh, they built the. Um, Shandor built the building that uh, that Dana Barrett's apartment was in, which was basically at the top, a portal for uh, Gozer to come in to um, our world and destroy it. So I'm hoping they don't bring. I kind of hope they do, and kind of don't. Hope they don't bring Gozer back in because we got a new villain with Ghostbusters two. So why not a new villain with Ghostbusters three? Shandor, <laughs> and um, you know, even if they do bring back Gozer, I'd like to see how he comes back. Um, I think they have to bring back a new destructor form, and I'm guessing that's why Egon might have moved out there because he needed um, he needed to keep an eye on this Shandor mining company because he knew that Evo Shandor did create Dana Barrett's apartment, and he built certain things so that way Gozer could or the Ghost World could cross over into our world, um, and I, I just I'm excited. So I really like this trailer. Uh, you guys should go watch it. Link will be in the description. Tell me what you guys think about this. Tell me what you guys think about the trailer. Leave it down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. 
I think it's great. I think they're going to do this perfectly, and I think they've got everything, everything going for them, like absolutely everything. So, great job to you, Ivan Rot or Jason Rotman, not Ivan Rotman. Um, you've you've hit the you've hit the the nail on the head this time, and it's just great job, honestly, because uh, it's got everything. It's got my Ghostbuster blood pumping. It's got me excited. I hope it comes out sooner. Um, and everybody that knows me, I'm a big ghost head. Um, so I really, 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 really hope that they do this right. And hope it's successful so we could possibly get a Ghostbusters 4. I have four movies in this. Imagine that. That'd be so cool. You know, um... And uh, I was I thought that Ghostbusters 2016 was just gonna be our movie, or the movie of my century. So I was like, well, I better accept this for what it is because I don't think the original Ghostbusters are coming back because you know Bill didn't want to do it. Um, but people think that he's signed on to this one. Let's hope. Um, and I'm just excited. I really am, um, and I'm happy they're doing a Ghostbusters three that ties in with their original ones. So we ain't got to go back to that reboot, remake, all that crap. And that they're handing the proton packs on down to a younger generation. I'd like to see Paul Rudd suit up as a Ghostbuster because who wouldn't? I think Paul Rudd fits the, a good Ghostbuster role. So yeah, tell me what you guys think down in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you go check that out. Make sure you go check that. that make sure you check it out. Leave it a like. Definitely. We got to give this support because... This is, so far, looking like a great movie, and it's paying great respect to the original ones. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.